Okay, so today we're going to do a weighing demonstration for the Beef Environmental Efficiency Program. We're going to go through a few steps, setting up the scales and the proper handling of it, weighing the animals and a few do's and don'ts when it comes to weighing the animals, uh, and washing the scales afterwards and finishing up with it. So we'll just take you through those steps now. Okay, so here are your standard weighing platform that a lot of farmers will be using as part of the beef to weigh their animals. We're just going to go through handling the scales. It's a full length platform, it's about 8 feet long. Um, it's between 40 and 50 kilos weight, including the platform and the weigh cells underneath. So it's a job for two people. One person should catch it from either end. So we just catch the scales there now, we'll put it into the crush and set it up. When you're putting the scales in the crush, it's just important that you leave about a foot from the top of the crush to the start of the platform. It's just to allow the animal a bit of space for their head. If you put the platform too close to the top of the crush, especially when you're weighing cows or bigger animals, there's very little room for them on the platform because they're going to have to keep their... They're going to be standing further back on the platform because they're, they have no head space. Okay, so we just close up the crush and get it ready. So the platform is all in place. Um, we're going to make sure that it's centered in the crush, that there's not too much space on either side. And uh, one thing that's very important is once it's in place, just make sure that there's no rock. The scale is completely level. It's obviously important that there's a good uh, surface to the bottom of the crush. If it's a, an earthy surface or gravelly and it's not even, it's, it's going to affect the weights and the platform is, is giving weight. So it's important to make sure that the ground underneath the platform is, is fully level. So happy enough with the scales. So now we're going to set up. As you can see, there's two cables coming from either end of the platform. They're attached to the weigh cells underneath. We're going to plug them into the indicator now. So as you can see, there's three uh, outlets on the indicator. The ones on the left and the right, they're where the cables plug in. The center one is for charging, so when you're on farm weighing, you're not going to be using that. So it's the inlets on the right and the left that you plug the two cables into. So, there's good length in the cables, so you can stand well back from the crush and you can keep the clock well out of the way. On top of both cables, there's a cap and that's just to protect the tops of them and to stop water getting in, so you just simply open those caps off. And they plug in to the underside. Now you can see there in the bottom, they have to plug in in a certain way. So there's a little groove on the cable that fits in there in the, in the plug socket. So once you plug it in, you then just screw, in, screw it in to make sure it stays in place. You get your second cable and again, it can only go in a certain way, it has to fit the groove. Screw it on. And now the cables are connected to the indicator, okay? This is a standard indicator that a lot of farmers will be using through the beep, uh, the rental, the rental scheme. Um, so we're now basically ready to, to start weighing. Turning on the clock is quite simple. You just press the on off symbol there. As you can see, it's reading zero kilos. Best practice as well would be just to maybe stand on the scales yourself to make sure that it's that it's reading a correct weight. So we just put the clock down. Yeah, so 95.5, and we're expecting 96, so that's pretty, that's pretty close, okay? Obviously, if the scales is, if the reading on the, the indicator is a long ways off, then the scales isn't weighing properly, and you need to contact the depot to let them know that there's an issue with the scales. There's no point weighing the animals if the weights aren't coming out properly, okay? So we'll go ahead now and we'll weigh our animals. Okay, so platform 
and indicator now set up and ready for weighing. In fact, do a little bit of improvisation here, just tying up uh, with some bail twine, tying the indicator to the side of the crush here, so we can see clearly the reading on the indicator. The slack in the cables is just tucked in under the platform as well, so that animals won't be walking on it and it won't get caught in anything, or an animal won't get their leg caught in it and, and pull the indicator off. Um, so there's just a few things before we get started. So we'll go ahead now when we start weighing animals. <laughs> 